helpful. Sprinkling again. Yeah. I hate the rain. <laughs> Mud season. That was supposed to dry up after today. Hi, pretty. Are you recording? Okay. This one here, she's a, a bay mare. Her name is Diamond. She's got that diamond shaped spot on her forehead. She's probably mid later teens. <laughs> She's doing she that like at Chow Chow. Oh. It's okay. Her hooves aren't as bad as the other two. We were talking earlier about the hooves have been kind of neglected and stuff. Um, they are they they were well fed. Uh, they just didn't ever get anything done with them. They haven't seen a farrier in quite some time. Um, the her hooves aren't quite as bad. She's a she's a bigger girl. Um, and then over here we have the the red roan. Uh, we named her Ruby. Uh, her hooves are pretty bad, um, as you can see. I don't know how much you can see through the hay that she's standing in, but uh, they're they're starting to get real bad. We'll show you Rachel. Her hooves are, were we did hacksaw part of them off because uh, they were starting to curl up. We hacksawed part of them off and. Yeah, it, 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 they're terrible bad. Um, but, so that's something we got to have done. Get the farrier out here to work on them. We're trying to get them. We got them dewormed and uh, so on. We're getting them their, their care. Um, this, the roan here, Ruby, she's probably, I would say, somewhere is 15 to 18 years old and I'm guessing that diamond over there is probably just a few years younger not much her teeth are getting a little bit long and uh, so we might end up having to get those worked on get them cleaned up and brought down a little bit they seem to be pretty gentle. We've been able to pick up their feet. James got the pens for these girls finished up. That pen over there on the far end we'll put Mumu in and then we just got to finish up this pen here hey girl okay so this pony is Rachel she uh her ruby isn't this one ruby Rachel oh this one's Rachel sorry um she is uh one of the horses that uh that was neglected um, her hoofs were, were very, very long, starting to curl up, and so we, we, uh, called an old cow girl down here to, to come help us out with, with it, because, well, if you need any help, just call an old cow girl and she'll know what to do. Um... She is a very, very gentle, sweet girl. She often gets mouth. pushed around <laughs> by the other ponies because she's so tiny. Um, but she 
She's really just a sweet old girl. Um, How old do we think she is? Did we guess? We guessed. I'm guessing probably mid-teens as well. Okay. Yeah. So around 15. Or Judging by her 13. teeth too, she's probably mid mid-teens. 15 or 13, something around there. Um, we're guessing she's a miniature giraffe horse. Welsh pony? Welsh, Welsh pony. pony. Welsh pony. Which are usually a little bit more gentle than a Shetland. And we put her in here with sweet <laughs> Missy Mouse um, because they're, you know, they're both, like I said, foundered before. And uh, founder um, can lead to all sorts of problems, but you can tell kind of by the shape of their neck, the swelling in their neck that they, they get, and they get that real much a lot bigger neck like that once they've foundered it can cause problems in their feet um, they, the coffin bone can turn and so after the farrier comes out here uh, in about a week and a half is as soon as we could schedule him in um, we will see if he thinks we need to go get their feet x-rayed and see if that coffin bone is turned or done any damage with them and see how safe it is to be able to ride them but it's going to take quite a few trimmings to get them to where they need to be and so that's why we were going to set up a uh, donation um, account if you are interested in helping out you can go to our website 120 acre that's the numbers 120 acre wood dot com or dogantics.net we'll click on the 120 acre wood tab and down at the bottom there you'll see an area I'm just figuring out how to do it uh, so I should have it set up by the time this video goes on and then uh, uh, you know even even ten dollars will help us out each farrier trim is forty dollars and we'll probably have to do you know one every six weeks or so to get their feet back to where they need to be and then the uh, the dental it's been a long time since I've done one of those they can run in the one to two hundred dollar range for each horse we already did some deworming, but we figure that they also need vaccinations and things. So we're figuring that we're going to need to put about $500 into each horse uh, to get them up to where they need to be to um, be ready to find them some good homes. And then we will, um, you know, ask for uh, a fee based on what we've put into them to to the new owners we're probably going to uh, see how they are how they act and stuff once we get them get them to where they're uh, good on their feet anyway that uh, we'll try to work them a little bit and then go from there judge whether we may need to send them off to a trainer we don't we don't have the facility here quite yet to be able to do a whole bunch of training or anything, so we're gonna, we may end up having to send them off to a horse trainer and get some work done with them, but. And we've got some games that we'll play with them for training too. I know just a few games and uh, we'll see how much, um, Greg and James want to learn on the the horse training games or things that I haven't done in years um, but uh, they're just some real positive fun games to get the horses to connect with you hook up with you and and bond pay attention watch you 
uh, once their feet are better, we don't want to put any weight on them right now. Once their feet are better, we'll get some saddles on them and things, see how they act with that, put a little weight in the saddle. But I think that they were really well trained horses at one time, so it might not take much to get them to where they need to be. Just like mesmerized by this old guy. Hey, baby girl. There you go. There Keep you go. Keep some weight on it. Yep, good girl. Need Pet you her. To hold that. Yeah. Yeah, as thick as that is, I don't want to break off. Yeah. Right? It goes the whole way down. Yeah. It ain't like it's a a cup inside of there. Easy, oh. easy. She's. Oh, oh I'm, you're gonna yeah. break the dang saw. Uh -huh. Yeah, she was trying to bite me, and then I, I'm just hold to, still, baby. Holding her lip hold still. Like that. One thing about your shoulder, how you gotta work out. Yeah, right. Ay, ay, ay. Hey, and I got that one halfway done. <laughs> I've cut metal. <laughs> I've cut metal with a hacksaw that didn't take this long. Yeah, that's the softer in it. It yeah. plugs up the teeth in. Uh, oh. That's close. There you go. Hold it right there. Don't move. Yeah. That's that's spreading that open. It's not binding the blade. Yeah. There you go. There we go, baby. There you go, little ah, pony. Ah, girl. Well, that's going to take a long time to get yeah. Them down the way they belong. The, the farrier oh, farrier's yeah. coming out in three weeks. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you already haven't. And check out our new web websites, 120acrewood.com, dogantics.net. And please leave a donation for the rehab of the new horses if you can. Thanks.